Hi, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore. I am glad to stay in touch with you once again through this short message. I pray that the Holy Spirit would use this message encouraging your walk with Christ in your daily life. In this episode, I would like to take few minutes to share with you briefly about the fruit of the Spirit. The term fruit of the Spirit sums up nine attributes of a Christian life listed in Galatians 5th chapter verses 22 and 23. When we accept Jesus as our Savior and Lord, we are born again in spirit and the Holy Spirit indulges us. Though we are born again and have a new life in Christ, we still carry the carnal nature, the sinful nature in us. Presence of sexual immorality, impurity, shades of idolatry, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies, etc. in our life would mean that we are still being led by our sinful nature. The Christian life is often the battle between the old sinful nature and the new nature given by Christ. Our flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, but the Spirit of God works in us, enabling us to be conformed to the likeness of Jesus Christ gradually when we yield ourselves completely to be led by Him. It is essential to note here that the Holy Spirit indwelling us will not be controlling or leading us unless we keep our lust and self under control by our consistent conscious efforts with the help of God while obeying the leading of the Holy Spirit step by step daily. The spirit-led life will be evident in our daily living. And the fruit of the Spirit-led life is marked by the presence of love, meaning loving God and loving others, by the presence of joy, meaning the inner happiness given by God, by the presence of peace, meaning the inner calmness given by God, by the presence of patience, meaning tolerating problems and suffering, without becoming annoyed, by the presence of kindness, meaning helping others without expectation, by the presence of goodness, meaning the external working of kindness, by the presence of faithfulness, meaning being reliable and truthful, by the presence of gentleness, meaning displaying meekness of Christ, keeping power under control. And finally, by the presence of self-control, meaning mastering self. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May we be enabled to be led by the Holy Spirit, bearing His fruit in our daily life. Amen. May the grace and guidance of God be with you. Thank you for listening.